Hi there. This is a response to um, Jim and the Mrs. Um, their new uh, 500 subscribers competition, sort of, you know, our take on the Rolling Stone 500 Greatest Records of All Time. Um, I don't read Rolling Stone magazine. I probably can get it here in Holland, you know, but I don't don't really do it. Um, uh, I did read the list, and I was not amused. Um, it's a horrendous list. Um, it doesn't make sense. It's one of the worst lists I have ever, ever seen. Um, and I've seen a lot of lists because I read Mojo, and they sort of publish a list every other month. So, uh, But what they do, and what I like about Mojo in that, sense is that they put it in genres so you have a greatest albums of all time for jazz or for punk or for just heavy rock you know that's not what they did they just threw everything in there it's a mess and I don't agree with it at all um, I just um, I don't quite understand what the meaning of this competition is. I, I just pulled some records that I think should be in there. I don't. I'm not saying they should be in the top ten, um, but um, yeah, they should be in there. I I'm first gonna pick up two CDs that I had picked up. So first off, I'm going to do the CDs. Um, these albums, if they're, you know, I quickly. Just went like, uh, 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 just pushed it forward the list. Um, so I don't know if, if these records are in there, but if they are, I'm sorry. If they're not, they should be. First up, Godspeed You Black Emperor. Um, Lift Your Skinny Fists Like Antennas to Heaven. Um, this is, pro for me, the record that should be on that list by Godspeed. Um, it's a groundbreaking post-rock album, and it's just, you know, it's epic, and it's, you know, apocalyptic, and it's beautiful. Another post-rock album, and probably the last good album by Sigur Ross. that's what I think. This is the, uh, I think it's called, you know, Brackets. Uh, this is a CD issue, and uh, this is a gorgeous piece of music, um, and I don't think it's in there, you know. On to the vinyl, and yeah, there's a lot of punk, post-punk in here, so let's go. The first Killing Joke album. I think there's another Killing Joke on there with the song Love Like Blood, but this is better. Um, just a really, really good, solid, more harder etched uh, post punk album. Um, Jeopardy by The Sound. This is another record that should be in that list. Um, Joy Division's in there, so why not the sound? I prefer the sound above Joy Division. I like Joy Division, but see, it's an OG. I like Joy Division, but the sound I think are better. Um, Joy Division, I think, got that their status. Um, because of the sad suicide that uh, being committed. Um, not really for their music. Their music is not much different than what these guys are doing. And Adrian Borland, the lead singer of this band, was as tragic a figure as Ian Curtis, because he also committed suicide later on in life. Um, but you never hear people talk about them, which is a shame. Um, there's not enough 
rock women in the list to my um, to my eyes. Uh, this is cut by the slits, which is a groundbreaking post-punk album mixing um, punk dub and just tribal music together into this awesome, awesome uh, debut album. Teardrop Explodes, Kilimanjaro, you know, this or um, the, the follow-up to this should be in the list, you know, really, really like Teardrop Explodes. Um, this is from 1980 and it's a great mix of 60s psychedelia with uh, the post-punk sound. I don't know if this is in there. It should be Minor Lovers debut album. Um, of course, featuring Roadrunner, um, Pablo Picasso, She Cracked. Great album. I don't know if this is in there, but this is a, a classic that at least should be in the top 20. This one should. It's amazing, amazing album. And the last one, there's not enough insanity in the list, so why not put this in there? Locust Abortion Technician by the Butthole Surfers. And it's got a creepy little kid on the back. This is a disturbing masterpiece, so this should be in there as well. So that's my entry. Um, I don't know if a lot of people will agree, but you know, this is my opinion. So, bye bye.